Today we're going to go into um, a tutorial and it's for fall and it's um, the burgundy kind of wine colored lipstick that is really in right now and I'm just partnering it with a Ketty eyeliner if you can see that and this is pretty much the final look. I also want to note that I had some fun with my nail polish earlier. Can you see the purple sparkles? <laughs> and um, the nail polish that I'm wearing is Milan. Is there a color on here? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's Milan and it's this purple sparkle stuff and it's really fun. So enjoy the tutorial and thank you guys for watching. Oh, I also want to go over um, the different steps in the tutorial. So there are four steps. Um, step one being the caddy eyeliner and the mascara. Step two being cover up and foundation. Step three being bronzer and blush. And step four being the lipstick. So, all right, enjoy. Okay, so step one to doing this look is to do um, the caddy eyeliner and the mascara. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for the brush I'm using, this is from Target, it's just a really skinny eyeliner brush. And um, for the eyeliner I am using from Sephora, it's Eyeliner Cream and Smoky. And um, this will last you a long time if you get it. I've had this one for like three months and it's still going strong. So next, moving on to the mascara, I am using Sephora's Atomic Volume, and we're just going to coat the eyelashes. And um, next, we're going to move on to step two. So step two is cover up and foundation. So I'm going to get through this pretty quickly for you guys, um, just so you know what I'm using. I am using CoverGirl's Brush Complexion, something like that, <laughs> for the cover stick. And then for the foundation, I am using Lush's Color Supplement. And I'm going to be mixing this with um, just some lotion so that it goes on really light and it doesn't look cakey. Okay, so we're going to put cover stick under the eyes, any place you're having kind of a breakout, that kind of thing. And you see when you mix the lotion with the foundation, you get a much lighter feel, a much lighter color, just um, kind of an all around better. So I like to dab my foundation like this. And then I have several brushes that I'm going to use to mix that in. The first one is a flat brush and this one's from Target. And this is gonna be the first thing that we rub in with. Okay, next we're going to use this brush, which is just kind of a tight, um, flat brush, and this helps just blend everything in. Okay, next um, I am going to seal it and so I have a couple of things you can seal it with. I use um, Prep and Prime translucent powder from MAC to seal my foundation, but also a little secret trick, baby powder works too. So you can just use baby powder in the same way that you would use these fancy products. And um, this is the one that I usually use, the Prep and Prime, but to show you that baby powder works, I'm gonna use that in this video. So you want a loose, loose um, powder brush for this. 
And you're just gonna go pick up the baby powder. Just like when you use the translucent powder, you only want a little bit of this unless you want to look like a ghost. And who knows, Halloween's coming up, maybe you do. <laughs> maybe that's your goal for the night. Right. So next, we're going to do bronzer. For this, I have a bronzer brush, that, which is, again, just kind of flat, it's a little wider than the one we use for foundation. And we're gonna contour our face. So you start with the cheeks, find your cheekbone, and then you wanna follow it up with a line. You wanna do sides of the nose and up here at your hairline and down here at your jaw. And I like to do a little bit on my neck just so everything matches. Next, I take a tissue and just kind of get rid of a little bit of the harshness of the lines. And we're going to blend that with this blending brush, angled blending brush as well. All right, next we're going to do blush. Um, by the way, what I did for the bronzing, it's an Urban Decay Baked. And we also have, as part of step three, our blush, which is a CoverGirl Peach. I just like peach because it looks really good on my skin tone. So um, whatever looks good on your skin tone, feel free to use that instead. We're gonna go back to the brush that I use for the contouring flat one and just pick up some of the blush and put it right here in the apples of my cheek. And okay. now we're going to step four, which is the lipstick. So um, wine kind of burgundy lipstick is really in right now for the fall. And the one that I like, and it's going to take you a long time to shop and find your shade, but the one that I like is Revlon um, 648 Blackberry. This is what it looks like, and it's this really pretty dark color. So once you find the one that you like, um, that's what you're gonna use. I don't like using lip liner and all that stuff on my lips, so I just go right in with the lipstick. <music> have it that's pretty much the final look for fall so um, just style it however you want and go along with your day and thanks for watching